I've been working on some new music, and I've also been working on a new CD that I will be um, <coughs> work, uh, sponsored by a studio in Canada, in Montreal. Wow, well, that's and, crazy. Uh, yeah, it is. It's, but he's become a good friend of mine, so... Um, but yeah, his company is going to sponsor me, and, and we're going to do a new record with him this year. Terrific. And so I'm just, I'm trying, in between booking shows and traveling, uh, every every morning I hit, uh, I come home, I have to try to, you know, lay down some more new tracks, more new it, demos, you know, as much as I can. It's, we, it's We were talking about that before. You know, it's such a, a, um, a funny part of the perceptions of the life of a musician. Um, most perceptions are, that you just have fun all day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you wake up at one or two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You have your no. leisurely latte. Um, you know, you stare at a tree. You, mean you write a new at, song. Uh, wake up at two in the afternoon, right? That's what you meant. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> and then and then you go play a gig and everybody loves you and claps and gives you money and then you go to the next city. Isn't that what it's life? Life as a musician. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, you, you're up until, you know. <laughs> Latest hours possible. Get up the next morning for rehearsals and yeah, radio interviews and meetings and just all kinds of stuff. As much as you can handle. I mean, yeah. I've got to do it all yeah. as much as I can. It's well, it's uh, <coughs> Jesus said you'd have life and life have it abundantly, mm. and he wasn't kidding. <laughs> wow. But if you if you love what you do, it's not work. Yes, it really That's is. Exactly it's a right. very true statement. I'm willing to sacrifice and yeah. do what it takes. Yeah. So so cool. Let's, so let's uh, do a song. Okay. Um, Probably something that's already in the rotation, so people can right. put the name with the song. I'll do the song so called By My Side. Okay, nice. cool, awesome. You're listening to 95.7 The Choice, coming to you live from our cafe location, 81 Patton Avenue, and this is Josh Gilbert. Thank you. shelter in the storm I'll put my arms around you to keep you warm won't let the troubles come to you and I'll let you do all the things that you want to do and I die just to have you next to me when you don't hear me I'm shouting to keep your heart to feel your love around me I'm doubting that I could ever I'll put my arms around you and make you fly. Won't let the troubles get you down. I'll hold you high and pick you up off the ground. And I died just to have you here next to me. Don't hear me. I'm shouting to keep your heart, to heal your love around me. I'm doubting 
I'm shouting to keep your heart. Awesome. Awesome. Nice job. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. Hey, I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get to call, talk to the coolest people in the world, listen uh, to great music, and have a good time doing it. That's awesome. Um, you know, I, I love the, of, of course, the, the radio release of that, the version that we have playing, uh, you know, on the station. Um, but man, you just like you just blow it out of the water when you do it live and just do it straight acoustic. You really well, do. I appreciate that. I appreciate you that. really do. Well, thanks. Um, I've had a long day. But I appreciate <laughs> you listening. <laughs> yeah, I know you've been working hard today. <laughs> uh, you're listening to 95.7 The Choice, mm -hmm. and my guest here in the studio is Josh Gilbert from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He was here last night. He's back again here live at 81 Patton Avenue. Going to be going on the stage here shortly. Hopefully you got some friends out there checking us out on uh, online at 957thechoice.com. We're going to uh, record this, or we are recording this. I missed the first minute or two, but we got most of it. And uh, we have this recorded and saved on our Ustream channel. So uh, you can post this on the Facebook and people can check nice. it out. I um, want to talk about <coughs> something that we were... Uh, kicking around while we were having pizza this afternoon. Hey, okay. quick shout out to Circle in the Square Pizza. Mm. Um, Josh and I were hanging out here at the cafe and stomachs were growling. I think it was like 2 or 3 o'clock. And I happened to open the mail and there was this little flyer from Circle in the Square Pizza. And it said, you can get a free pizza today. <laughs> and I was like, wow, was wow awesome. perfect timing. Gosh. I'm hungry. Call them. We'll be right up to go get yeah. it. <laughs> and that it was awesome. great. It was great. So, But we yeah. were talking about um, a, a, a charity that you're involved in and uh, a trip to Africa and all kinds of cool things. And so you're not just a yeah. musician. You're not just you know playing music and living the, the uh, fat cat life of a musician. <laughs> but it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't I mean, exist. But you're doing some really, really cool things, and uh, maybe you can spend a little time kind of sharing what that's all about, okay. and maybe some people want to get involved and support that. And, uh, uh, of okay. course, before we finish, we want to make sure that we let everyone know how they can get a hold of you and how they can get a hold of your music and all that good stuff. Yeah, definitely. I, well, as, uh, as he mentioned there, I, I am also am involved with a – a great organization called Voxtropolis, and that's V-O-X, as in voice, city of voices, that's what it means. And um, basically it's a network of musicians and uh, creators and different people who are involved in the community, in the arts community, and they have kind of met up and joined together, and, and, and there's a lot of cities that have created these events. They call them Vox events, and each event is, um, usually it's a concert or uh, art show or something, but each event benefits um, a local cause, uh, and they're mostly really small. Like say, so and so's grandma's down the street needs a needs a new window for her house, so we're going to raise money for that. And it's kind of a way of getting really, really local artists and musicians <clears throat> involved in a, in, a, in a good cause. But um, the cause isn't measured by the magnitude of oh how many sponsors and how many you know you know how big the organization is it's more right. it's more about it's but more relational one on one relation yeah and so that's what Voxtropolis is and I've I've um, gotten the chance to to meet the founder of it which is Alex McManus and he's a good friend and mentor of mine and um, 
I've spent uh, a lot of years performing at them. I've gotten the chance to go to Canada twice last year and perform at uh, four, no, five boxes there, and <clears throat> then there's a few more in Florida and California and so forth. And I've gotten the years, uh, I've gotten to uh, um, perform at them over the years, and they finally met with me one day uh, uh, during during one of them, and he's like, "You should start one," and I was like. Yeah, there's already so much on my plate, you know, but... <laughs> What's one more thing? <laughs> yeah, and so I gave it some thought for a while, and then, um, and it's kind of something I've already been doing. I already book uh, friends of mine, bands out of town, people like me on the road. You know, you you got to trade shows and pay it forward and say, you know, hey, I'll let, you know, if you open for me, I'll, you know, I'll let you open for, you know, so-and-so and whatnot. And so I already network a lot and, and just... It was a, just another step that um, was easy for me in just the uh, just adding one more element to it. You know, you know what's, what strikes me um, just uh, in the whole music business um, it used to be that, um, and this is just an observation, but it used to be when musicians or celebrity or you know just somebody that was sort of in the entertainment business. <coughs> Um, they never really decided or you didn't really see a lot of give back until they took care of themselves first. So mm -hmm. typical, and I'm talking 70s and 80s, mm -hmm. it would be I make my first million and then I give a little bit back. Mm -hmm. But what's great about this era that we're in right now is, um, y y you know, that musicians and, and a lot of people that I <coughs> encounter, they don't wait for that. They're like, from the moment early on, whether they're tremendously successful and on every radio station in the country or just have a good following, um, they're into giving back, like, right mm. from the beginning. And that's a really cool thing. It's, and it's very different from what it was 15, 20 years ago. Mm. But sort of a unique, I know it's before your time, sorry. But no. <laughs> I mean. But it really is, it's a really, really cool thing. And, you know, not to... Um, you know, not to knock anything that was done in the past, but uh, people don't wait. They say, you know what, from the moment I saw, and you see that with companies too, some companies mm. that from the, in their charter, before they even start, they already have their give back plan in place, and it's, it's a part of their DNA mm. from, the, from day one before they even start. So yeah, that is cool. Kind of a very, very cool sort of thing. Um, I know you're going to be playing all night tonight, but man, um, you got to do one more. We're going to have to do one more before you take the stage. Is that okay. cool? Can I, I know you're tired, and I'm you know, leaning on you heavy here, but you've been practicing all afternoon with the River Church Band and all that. And yeah. Ooh. But, man, I, you know, I want people to connect um, because we do you know, play your music a lot. This is a cool opportunity to have you in town, and I want people to know that are listening right now, hey, the guy that did that song is here now. So if you want to catch him live, you know, march on down to 81 Patton Avenue and catch the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, oh. uh, what? Oh. Uh, let's see what else. By the way, uh, you know, a little more about Vox Tropolis. It's um, so we've all banded together. Oh, we forgot to talk about Africa. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so basically, <clears throat> um, I'm also we're, we're raising money and sponsorships to take a team to South Africa. There are five. They call them culture pubs, but they do exactly what I do. They just put, uh, host events, promoters like myself. They may not be musicians, but they know musicians and artists and mm -hmm. they pull them together. And um, I met the guy who's in charge of it down there. He's an, an awesome guy. And, um, but yeah, we're looking at going to, to that, to, um, to his neck of the woods this summer in July. He's got a, about five of them down there wow. ready to go. Wow. And he's um, already done a couple and, Basically, they're, they're events that will be monthly or regular or, you know, every couple of months or so. Mine and Chattanooga are, it's Vox Chattanooga. You can go to Facebook.com slash Vox Chattanooga, V-O-X as in voice. Uh, but, but mine are monthly. I just put on a show and say, hey, we're benefiting this. Wow. And, wow. This and you just month, find a local venue somewhere to hold, host it at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I've been, I'm doing it at a place called The Camp House coming up. It's a cool it's a coffee shop as well. Okay. Live music venue. Um, but um, and so he's got a, a network of that down there. I'm pretty sure he does one once a month. Um, and then. Well, we're going to check into it as a station and see if we can't partner up somehow and. Oh, that would Maybe be awesome. use this venue for yeah. that and see yeah, how so we can pitch in. That I mean, yeah. If, if, if anything you know, 
any any help is is awesome. And um, if you want to find out more info, there's it's voxtropolis.com, and that's V-O-X-T-R-O-P-O-L-I-S. Yes. Okay, Tropolis. cool. And if you're just joining us, you're listening to 95.7 The Choice, uh, coming to you live from our home here at 81 Patton Avenue. My guest is Josh Gilbert from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So what are you going to do for us? Oh, um, I might do, uh, I guess, should I do the Nether Road or something else? Let's Maybe do Nether the Road. Yeah, we play that a lot. And I, want people to, I want people to hear it from the guy who does oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> it, did we play it too much? <laughs> no, man. We love it. We love it. <clears throat> love or that it. new one I was talking about? Or oh, yes. Okay. All right, let's do that. Or, what, okay, whatever's... Um, you know, I didn't even get... I was going to download that song, and I didn't even get to download it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, this this song here, though, is... Um, this song is, um, is a song I wrote about the Aurora, Colorado shootings. Mm-hmm, yep. Is that, um, so it's, it's called... Well, it's a, What's bizarre is we were talking about that today. You're talking about the song, and then I pulled up my web news and saw that there was another shooting out there in Aurora. I mean, yeah, that's, that kind of strange blew my mind. Uh, yeah. Wow. And um, anyways, I wrote this from the perspective of if I was in the audience, would I be able to jump in front of <coughs> the bullets for somebody else? So. Okay, nice here we go. Is. Yeah. 
Prepare for the glory. Don't waste another life. Write your story. Don't let another moment pass by. Prepare for the glory. Don't waste another. Awesome, love it, love it. Great Thank song, you. great, great <coughs> song. Uh, looks like then we're gonna have to put uh, four of your cuts in heavy rotation here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like I great said, song, great song. Well, I appreciate that a lot. I mean, um, working hard at it and probably uh, be doing that that this uh, this year. To do yeah, a studio cut of that. Yeah, so. very cool. Well, keep us keep us posted. Put yeah. us on the list. So you can join the email list. Find out more mm -hmm. about our trip to South Africa and the Fox Tropolis and. All the traveling and music I'm doing at, at Reverb Nation, my Reverb Nation page. It's ReverbNation.com slash Josh Gilbert Music. So. Okay, cool. And we'll be posting that up on uh, the station website, 957 The Choice. Oh, awesome. So if people miss that, if they're driving, can't write it down and want to check it out, we'll have that posted as well as this interview will be on there as well. And you're going live here in a few minutes, so it'll be going to be a good night. It's going to be a Very lot of cool. fun. My friend Travis Singleton is here. From yep. We're going to put Travis, Travis Singleton here in the box here in a couple of minutes and, awesome. and uh, get him to uh, follow the interview as well and get some little background on him. I've seen him before, but I uh, haven't really, I think the last time he was here, we didn't have the station here. So we're going to awesome. give him an opportunity to uh, get some PR and some coverage and, and get his name out there as well. Yeah, he, so he was in the People's, uh, People's Music Choice Awards, and um, it's kind of, it was kind of an online contest, mm -hmm. and he got to go over to the U.K., and he placed, I think he was second or, or something, but he didn't win, but he, he got the chance to go over there. And, yeah. You know, he's gotten some good recognition. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. So he'll some, have some good stories. So yeah. anyway, thanks for joining us, Josh. And you, uh, again, Josh going to be live here tonight <laughs> at the cafe, 81 Patton Avenue. And uh, we'll be picking that up um, here just shortly. So anyway, thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you. Asheville's Choice, 95.7.